Hey, what's going on? Back with another video. Today we're going to be modifying this Porsche 911 R. I know it doesn't look like one because the livery, for whatever reason, won't work on it. And the windshield wiper is stuck, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And as you can see here, we've also added, I don't know who we is, I've also added a custom exhaust sound. So if you hear it, I'll just drive back and forth. And I think it's actually taken out of a video game who uses the real car sound. So I mean, this is as close as you're going to get in Grand Theft Auto to the sound of an authentic Porsche. So let's just get to modifying it. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with these cars. Uh, the base model looks beautiful, though. It's funny when you see some of the older ones from maybe... Uh, I want to say late 90s, early 2000s. The base models are really nothing to look at, but these, even the base models are expensive, and they all look quite good. So the doors, what do we have? The windows, side vents. Uh, not going to do that. What are the arch covers? Oh, I've never seen uh, headlights that look like that, to be honest with you. It looks a little alien-esque, uh, like an extraterrestrial Porsche. So for now, I'm going to lay off on them because I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff we can improve on before we go for that little stuff. So anyway, uh, the engine, of course, we need the upgrade. I think I can. The interior. Wow, this is great. We'll do that last. The plate. What kind of plate are we looking at? What's the extra? Um, I'll just do the black plate. The chassis. You know, the GT3 RS in real life actually does come with a roll cage, so we can add a little roll cage back there. Uh, the wing, what do we have? Oh, those look fantastic. The carbon fiber mirrors. I assume underneath that is the secondary color that you'd see, so we'll go with that. The roof. Um. Okay, I'll try a scoop for once. Usually, you know what? I'll do it, for the hell of it, because again, there's no point in modifying a car if you're not going to really modify it. Anything without that uh, front license plate? We got a couple of them. I wish we could have a front splitter without the front plate. Maybe I'll find a, a workaround for that, but I'm actually going to keep the front splitter, because it's relatively out of character for me to be adding all that stuff on, but it, again, if we're going to be modifying it, you might as well just go all out. And we can do the stock primary colored skirts. How about the rear? What do we have? To be honest with you, th this looks um, this looks quite all right. The mesh grill looks a little carved out, but it actually flows with the body line, so why not? Now the wheels. This is going to be the fun part. It's wild how large the wheels are on these cars. I always thought that they were smaller, but these are like 20 inch rims on some of them. I think most of them, honestly. Look how deep dish that is. And I, I mean, I don't think that that looks terrible for a base model, but not for some type of GT3 car. I know this is meant to be the 911R, but it really doesn't matter. Because once you put all these different wings on it, you're like, oh, well, it kind of looks like a GT3 RS now, so you might as well keep it that way. We'll go with that. Those big, clear spokes. Yes, that is a good wheel, my friend. Um, The lights, okay, we can do... I'll do white. You don't see that a lot. It's actually pure white. The color will be last, because I know there's more that I'm missing for the body. The pipes, okay, what it, that is probably the ugliest exhaust pipe I've ever seen before in my life. I think they just added that there for the fact of having to add stuff. And that looks pretty good, pretty refined. Gonna hear you come. I hope so. And there we go. That actually looks like what I think the GT2 RS has. I think it has those rear kind of inlets, those intakes, as well as the, as you can see here, the vents up front. That's what you asked for. I know. Stock carbon. Wow, look at that. That is a wild, extreme looking hood. 
that is an abomination, not by the creator, of course, just... But I guess it's, you know, utilitarian. You have to use it. It has its uses. And we'll go with the carbon. There you go. The horn. We don't need a horn. This is the fun part. The spoiler for 9-11s are always great. Because none of them are really ugly. See what I mean? Like, there's not one of them there that you look at. The little lip is great. But I'm going to go with the GT3 wing. GT3 wing looks okay. The suspension, gotta lower it, that, that did nothing, basically. Basically did nothing. The turbo, of course we need a turbo. Uh, you don't need to say something, uh, you know, right after I... Right after I select it, it gets a little old. We'll do dark smoke. And, um... What was I missing? Now we have to do the respray, we gotta pick a color. And these Porsches, uh, Porsches, excuse me, they look good in just about anything, to be honest with you. You could have a pink one. No one would care. Well, I'd care, because that's not the color I'm going to pick, but we'll see what we can have. You know what? I think I may go with what I did last time, kind of a really beautiful traditional metal or silver or something. Can we do that? Uh, I did that for the Supra. I can't, I can't pick it again. But I would like another nice silver color. Or maybe black. You know, I never make any of my builds black. Um, maybe it kind of destroys, like, the accents on it. But uh, here's what we'll do. We'll do a really dark gray. Basically black. And the secondary color. Can we have nice red uh, brake calipers? There we go. Yellow doesn't look bad either. Yellow does not look bad either. I want a really bright red. Or bright yellow. There we go. Do race yellow, okay? And you know what? For the hell of it, the wheels can be black as well. Because this is something that is just out of character for me. I usually just don't uh, make the car look like this. Usually it's a little more vibrant. Oh, the interior. Of course we need to do that. Okay, cool. The dials. For now, it's going to be a GT3. We're just going to say that's what it is. Man, you can still hear him talking out there. Uh, the carbon fiber looks the best, but again, we can do that. Chrome, high gloss interior. The seats. That's what we have for the seats there. I'll go with the full bucket seats and the steering wheel. Look at that. The carbon fiber. Carbonized. Is that what he said? Did he did he just mock me? Okay, uh, let's get ready to go. I think we are all set. Later. How does it look in the real world? Looks pretty good. Rolling over. Dude, clean up your parking lot. Oh man, that front plate. It's just awful. But that is California for you. Beautiful. Don't usually like all black cars, but this one is most certainly an exception. Because it's got so much going on, so many scoops and vents and uh, intakes, that you can't really uh, say that it all blends together. Alright, let's hit up these tunnels. Let's hear how that exhaust sounds. Unbelievable. Props to the guy that did this exhaust mod. I'll have to leave the link in the description. That's something I usually keep forgetting to do. But man, it really does sound like a 911. Because I, it absolutely must be from a real car recording that he ripped from a video game. It just has to be. Listen to it uh, in here. Yeah, it sounds real. Unbelievable. Oh, there's my... I guess it would be older brother. Let's compare. Come on, buddy, what do you think? We, <laughs> I feel like it, it, it hasn't aged that badly. Which is clearly meant to be a 996 Carrera. That's the same one that they had in uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. That's, that's meant to be, you know, a car you'd see from 
late 90s to 2005, about 2004. But we kind of look the same. I mean, it's like looking at your future self, right? Not bad. See you around, my man. Yeah, this car is too fast for these little side streets, I'll tell you that. But it handles very well. It looks so good carving up these little roads. And it sounds amazing. Oh, buddy! You did me dirty. Dime a dozen up here, man. I picked the wrong place to drive. I'm not sticking out at all. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I've been trying to make them a little bit quicker just so we can get through the modification process and you can see the way it looks and the way it sounds. And again, not very happy with the color. It probably would have looked better in a more vibrant tone because that's what these cars are meant to be painted in, to be honest with you. And, you know, I'll, I'll see you next time, right?